morning, guys. What is going on? We are slowly but surely trying to wake up this fine Saturday morning. A little gloomy out, a little gloomy out, but it is supposed to be like 70 degrees today. Uh, but we drove the new truck up to Mr. Bob Coker's, where the drag truck is at. We now have... What do you guys think about Larry the Laramie? Or Sally Saddlebags? All right, turn the music off. We now have 153 miles on this old girl. Turn that off. Anyway, we are back at Coker Chassis and Restoration where the drag truck is at. If you guys haven't really been around for a while, you might want to go back and check out the uh, playlist that we have for the drag truck that we're building. It's up here getting the roll cage and all the chassis work, uh, mounting all of the fiberglass bedsides, doors, one piece front clips. So Bob has been kicking butt on this thing. Um, we've got a lot to show you guys. We have a, a little bit to finalize. I haven't been up here for a little while. Um, we got the seat mounted, so the pedals still need to be moved back. I'll show you you guys all that but really um i've been waiting to get up here before he can like fully weld a lot of stuff that way i can kind of just check over everything everything looks good um everybody's on the same page so we are back up here we're not going to be staying long we're not really going to be working here all day like we normally do uh but we just need to finalize some stuff with bob go over everything and make sure that he can keep progressing the following weeks to come to try to wrap everything up um we did actually order a fuel cell that uh we were going to base mounting uh, everything else off like we got the air dog pumps uh, the air to water box um, a lot of different stuff we're gonna get the fuel cell mounted first Lo and behold, you guys know if you order anything from like Jegs or Summit they usually give you like an estimated ship date whether it's in stock um, I ordered one that it said it was in stock they sent me an email that I of course did not see that it was like back ordered for like two months well that I didn't see that email till like yesterday and that like killed three weeks of waiting for this fuel cell that I thought was already here. Um, so a little bit of hiccup there. So we still have to mount all this stuff in the back. I'll show you guys all that stuff. And let's, let's go in and take a look. This Bob's been showing me pictures. It is awesome. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go through that magical door where all the fun happens. guys there she is take a look at this thing oh my gosh does it look good starting to look like a full truck again Whew. yes I am so pumped uh, the back end is going to come down just a little bit more um, that's not gonna mess up any of the four link brackets we're just gonna drop the uh, shock tabs down just a little bit um, and that is man oh man speechless yet again this month, this month is big. Back here, Bob has got the bedsides pretty much about 90-ish percent done. Got these really, really sweet burnouts done with the Wrenchworks logo in there. That is just so cool. Everything's just kind of tacked up for now. Um, these are following the shape of the bedside, kind of like the uh, hood does. Uh, just the support is kind of nice, gives it a little bit of extra strength. Got the uh, pop clips on the back side so you can't even really see him and there's only three here three on that and that should be good he's got to put one more I believe down there to kind of stiffen that up stiffen this up just a little bit around the wheel wells um, but other than that they are stiff strong got a little bit extra support back here we are actually going to just going to cut this tube pretty much keep the back end right where this bar is and then we're going to mount all of the fuel cell the water box uh, but everything back here the chute's going to be basically right here um, got another X to put in there uh, to finalize that and we are getting very 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 close uh, this this turned out so good I'm so pumped it really looks like a full truck again and I love the fact that these wheels and tires do not stick out a whole lot shows that it's a four-wheel drive truck but uh, really doesn't stick out enormously much it looks tough oh so good i uh, got the interior door handles done here these will now open from the inside um got the rest of the roll cage pretty much done got the door bars done that other kidney bar over there the seat you can kind of see is fully 
mounted now. Just needs one more tab, mounting tab in the back, but the seat is independently mounted. Kind of see we're working on the pedals now, uh, getting those moved back before they were like right here. They're moved forward a couple inches that way. All of the feet and everything are inside of the roll cage here, which for an OEM firewall, I don't even think you need, but with the seat being back this far, we have to move them. So that's gonna work out good. Me and Bob were already in there, sitting in there, doing the steering wheel. He's gonna get the steering wheel poking through here, get that moved back to me there as well. And that's, that's, oh man. The roll cage we still need to put uh, a l couple little more gussets. The uh, cage certification guy um, said he wants to see a little bit more, uh, I think a gusset right here, and then a gusset maybe right here. Just so, just very, very little odds and ends stuff, and then the cage can get certified. But the cage is like 99% done. Oh, that fresh, crisp cut. But that's it, guys. You can kind of see right here, this is what I'm talking about. Just a little bit of flex, we're gonna get that taken care of. Give you a little shot of the front support here. Nicely mounted up. This is, oh my gosh, I love it. Everything is coming out so perfect, it's awesome. Bob, what is this thing? Besides, <laughs> besides fast. How fast does this thing go? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is probably 720 and a quarter. What are you guys doing? You guys doing exhaust to it? Yep, we built a set of headers for it. Oh my gosh. This thing F1X is... F1X Pro Charger, crank driven. Oh my gosh. So how much horsepower do you think that thing makes? 1,800 at the wheels. Oh my gosh. I wow. Think the car weighs 21 or 2,200 pounds. Man, Super oh light. man. Man, oh man. Holy smokes. I don't even want to touch it. Wow. Oh, yeah, just a, a small little small block. I was going to say, what do you got going on over here in this corner now? Cars are shifting around. <laughs> this thing's undefeated this year so far. So far. I don't want to give the time out, but... Fast. Okay, all right. Really fast. What are you doing, the intercooler tubing? Yeah, we're doing some uh, turbo tubing. We're doing it. Nice. Man. Out twice, one non-prep, non one there. This wasn't the one that you were telling me was on the engine dyno, was it? Yeah. Lee, what did this make on the engine dyno? The engine dyno? Or the chassis dyno. 1330. 1330 at the wheels. Phew. Look at that, he's got two seats. That way he can scare the crap out of somebody. Stock, street car. Street car, street car. Everybody wants to hang on to that term. I think I know another guy who keeps calling his car a street car too, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody keeps calling their stuff street cars. Crank windows. Oh man, oh man, that's awesome. And then what is this thing? Uh, Dodge Daytona. The Dodge Daytona. This had a tangle with the wall last year. Ooh. Got to reclip the front end. Oh, really? Is that what uh, yeah. is that what's happening? Yeah, we redid the whole front end. Oh, it's already done. You already redid it? Yep. 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 Tango with the wall, huh? That's never a good day. No. Not at all. Oh boy. Bob, are you are you happy with the way your first truck experience is, is coming out? Absolutely. Glad to have you with us. Glad to get the chance to do it. This thing is turning out awesome. I just want to know, out of all, out of all of the cool car stuff over there, is this is this turning out somewhat cool in in your yes, mind? It ranks up there. Absolutely. All the car guys that come in here, do they look at this thing and they're like, "What is this?" Got to remember, every car guy has a truck to get to the track. And then, yeah. Oh my gosh, turning the, turning turning the truck into the race vehicle. Oh gosh. This thing is so cool. I'm happy with it. Bob, you guys are doing awesome, awesome work. And I'm probably about as picky as you're ever gonna get. Well, maybe not we like, ever. We like picky. <laughs> we specialize in picky. Yeah, we, we specialize in uh, anything above mediocre. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's awesome. Hope Sweet. Oh I'm, oh, I'm more than happy. Except for- to go to the track with you. 
yeah, whoop up on some cars. Maybe not that. Maybe maybe not that car though. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are finally home from Bob's. A uh, huge thank you to Bob and the crew. They are gonna continue to work on the drag truck. It is coming out, honestly, way better than I had ever, ever envisioned. It definitely went past where we were planning on taking the truck this year, but I could not be any happier and it is turning out absolutely absolutely awesome so uh today we're gonna push ahead try and get everything ready for the call out challenge tomorrow i just want to mention again we will be at the youtube call out challenge tomorrow cecil county dragway uh, i think it's sunday the 29th uh we'll be there um ally will not be there obviously because she just had a baby uh which i'll show you guys the baby later uh ally's inside uh, actually ally is she's she's somewhere with the baby she's not home um but we got two trucks to clean up. Uh, we got to load the trailer for the first time on the new truck. We will be bringing the new truck down there, um, which brings me to the next part that I wouldn't consider it a mod modification, but it is a part that we had to purchase because this did not come with the truck. Surprisingly, you pay 500 bucks for the gooseneck prep package, the prep package as in not including the ball and everything else that comes with it so the Ram dealer can whack you another $500 for that. But we went ahead and the Dodge dealer did not even have theirs in stock. We were able to grab a Reese one, which I'm sure is still fine, but a little bit of a different, you gotta pull this part up spin that I think right and then it kind of that's how it locks and unlocks a little different than the normal pin and then this we got to put these in I don't even know how these things we're gonna go check these things out let's put these in and then we will commence the long and tedious process of cleaning a black truck I think the trailer actually needs to be washed too that's been sitting so yeah we'll see we'll see we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in. All right, I guess that's it. So we've taken a brief break for about 30 minutes. We have added yet another modification on this glorious day here, and it was free. That is why you do not throw away anything, especially a section of exhaust, a section of exhaust from Andy's old fourth gen uh, that we have commandeered some parts from, and we have retrofitted them onto the dually. Now, there is nothing, and I repeat, there is nothing better than free horsepower. Now, what screams free horsepower like like a sweet old exhaust tip on a stock exhaust. That's right, that is free horsepower. I mean, we are talking like at least, at least 100 horse. We did not even cut off the excess stock exhaust. We just left that, not a big deal. Don't need to cut that off. The nice thing about this pre-used exhaust tip is that it already comes pre-sooted. So it actually looks like our truck actually does make horsepower. Another key point, we need, we need to look the part. So <laughs> um, I, I knew I had that around and I think it looks pretty dang good. And it actually clears, it doesn't hit the bottom of the thing when the exhaust rattles around. Um, so I think we're gonna leave that on there. I don't think it looks bad. Makes it look, makes it look like almost, almost a real truck. All right, so what we are going to do now is going to actually hook up to the trailer what we are supposed to be doing. Kinda wanna see how the factory air system works on this thing, show you guys how it works. Uh, I'm gonna get hooked up and then we're gonna wash everything, which I'm sure you guys really don't even want to see. We'll see what other kind of free parts we can scrounge up that we can maybe put on this thing, but that's where we're at today. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, one other key thing that I found out, you do actually have to turn off the rear parking sensors because if your tailgate's down, that thing will constantly beep. Take a look at this thing. All right, let's try there. It's still kind of, you know it'd be cool if you had like a little zoom, that would, that would be nice. Can't ask for everything though. All right, so trailer is hooked up. All of the weight is on it. Honestly, 
even with the trailer empty, it doesn't really look like, I mean, I guess maybe it made it squat a little bit. I'm not sure. All right, let's go, let's go turn the, turn the alternate trailer height button. All right, well, just thinking about something. The truck is on. Payload too light. That's why it wasn't working, okay? Just like I thought, I don't think the truck is squatting enough. I'm gonna hit the button again. Selected ride height not available, payload too light. All right, so I guess what's happening is the sensors right here are probably sensing that it's not squatted enough. We'll probably have to load the truck up on there and then take a look at it, which I wanted to show you guys. So we'll have to clean first and then show you guys this stuff. Alrighty, so next hurdle to jump over is the fact that the lovely safety chains and these stupid little hook things, they don't fit. The clasp won't actually allow the hook and the safety thing to latch. They're pretty much too fat to actually let the chain fully lock into that. So I think I've heard of people saying this and of course I am just now realizing that. So we'll probably have to get some type of carabiner-ish sort of thing, I guess. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna text Michael. I'm gonna see what Michael does. But those safety chains will not fit on that little hook of a job. All right, anyway. That is it. That is all we are doing. We need to wash. You guys don't need to see that. We are going to catch back up after I get done spending far too long washing my favorite color black. Alrighty guys, we're getting cleaned up here. First gen is done. Of course, it now looks like it's going to rain, but we got her all vacuumed out. We got her cleaned up, getting ready to load. We got Allie going to give us a hand. Of course, baby in hand. Little baby Reagan, about to get her first lesson, loading the truck up. Meet what little, happened? meet little baby Reagan. She slept through the entire thing. Hey. Like just like a little, little pudgy human. How you doing, babe? <laughs> that was really <laughs> close up, pretty really close up on your face. No. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're doing good. Everyone's gonna want to know how you're doing. Knuckles. <laughs> just give me some knuckles, Dad. Baby and Allie are doing great. Yes. All right, guys gonna get finished loading up here hopefully it doesn't rain just got to throw some quick wax on this truck and we'll be ready to go I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet with the safety chains but got this thing all vacuumed out not that it really needed it but the dealer never really prepped this thing because I asked him not to so we kind of had to vacuum it out just get some uh, get some quick wax on here strap this baby down we'll be good to go I guess now that it's downpouring, that is a perfect excuse to not have to quick wax anything. That is pretty much a wrap, guys. That's going to do it. Uh, if you guys have not already, go to wrenchworks.com, get entered in our giveaway. It's going to run through the following week. Also, if you guys are coming to the call-out challenge tomorrow, uh, which you guys definitely should be, we're going to make our first passes in the first gen, see how slow she actually is, which I am banking on very slow, by the way. Uh, <laughs> come by, come by, check out the new Wrenchwork setup we got. Anything you want there is also going to enter you in the giveaway, so we're going to have a clipboard there. Make sure you guys fill that out. Um, so, anyway, that's going to do it, guys. I love you as always. It's now starting to really, really downpour. I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys tomorrow to find out how well or how bad this thing truly does. So that's it. Hit the thumbs up before, uh, bleh, hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. See you tomorrow. See ya. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Where is my bucket? Son of a gun. Dang it. Let's hop up here. Low pro trailer for the win. Of course that is going to make a huge mess tomorrow. Stay tuned tomorrow to find out how much of a mess that makes. Oh man. Oh see you guys! Thank you.